Healthcare is, is not a right, but it seems that it could be considered a right if people believe their lives belong to the state or slave master. I mean, people can consider anything a right, but um, the question is, what is a right? And healthcare, I mean, <laughs> there's a sense in which healthcare is a right, and I'll get to that, but healthcare is not a right in a sense that you can't have a claim against somebody else's labor. You can't have a claim against somebody else's life. You don't have a right to somebody else's time and resources. And therefore, healthcare cannot be a right. A right is your freedom to pursue your values rationally without exploiting others, without using force on others, without violating others' rights. As soon as you make healthcare a right, you're, you're violating the rights of doctors, nurses, drug companies, everybody else who provides the service. They now become your slaves. Not literally, but in that aspect of their life, yeah. They have to serve you, they have to treat you, because it's your right. What about their rights? So no, healthcare is not a right. The sense in which healthcare is a right is that you have a right to pursue healthcare. That is, you have a right to go to the doctor of your choosing if he's willing to accept you, if you can come to a mutually acceptable trade. You have a right to pursue whatever drugs you want if you can get the owner of those drugs to sell them to you and a doctor to treat you with them. It's up to you and the, the, the producer. It's, you have a right to negotiate. You have a right to transact. You have a right to trade. And healthcare is just one more trade that we engage in. So healthcare, it, it, healthcare is a right means trading healthcare services is a right, and that's true. And, and property rights over healthcare is a right, and that's true. But a right to healthcare, that can never be a right. And, and it doesn't matter. If you think you are a property of the state, you are wrong. And that is an evil position that must be, you know, we must, we must uh, shun, shun. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, Many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...